little floss tube. So that was just a view out the window from G's chair. Uh, I had someone ask um, to show uh, what I see out this window and I do believe that this is the best view in our house um, but it's cloudy and overcast today it, but <laughs> here's the here's the warning <laughs> it snowed up on the mountain last night and the snow level is pretty darn low now this time of year I mean, it's kind of early actually, but it'll melt again and then snow again and then melt again and then snow again. But what it tells me is fall is definitely here. Yeah, I mean, uh, four days ago there wasn't, all that you could see was maybe a little bit of the glaciers, but no actual snow on the ground. But yeah. I love it when the snow is on the mountain though because you can see all the nooks and crannies of it. And for those of you who don't know where I'm at, this is um, the three sisters that I'm looking at, Faith, Hope, and Charity. And a lot of people climb up South Sister. I have not done that. I don't have time because now on top of my quilting I have tons of cross stitch. <laughs> Oh, but I I've recovered well not totally recovered from the wedding I'm I'm still I mean I I'm a couple day a few days out now but I'm a little bit tired still so I think there's a nap in my future um, but I'm trying to catch up on the mail and uh, I haven't done much stitching uh, just because we've had so much family here and and then I've been too tired and you know your eyes cross when you're tired and that makes for not very good cross stitch so I haven't done much stitching um, I am about to head up over the mountain though because of my class at Acorns and Threads I'm very excited about that uh, but I thought I'd share what the mailman has has been delivering and the little bit that I have done. I have so enjoyed all of the comments and let me tell you, we, we're kind of all in the same boat. I mean, I liked the term I heard in the comments of polygamist stitcher as opposed to monogamous stitcher. <laughs> Definitely a polygamous stitcher and it has gotten much worse this last week because when you can't stitch because you're so busy it only takes a second on your phone to order cross stitch and then you feel like you've done something so that's kind of what happened this week I know several of you said you've put yourselves on credit card hold. Yikes. I, I think I need to join that club. And I have, um, one of the things I got was uh, from a comment from one of the subscribers sent me a um, cross stitch terms, a, a, a link of cross stitch terms which I will um, link in the description. Uh, but the one I really loved was BAP, B-A-P, Big Ass Project. That, that maybe is my, my little, uh, my country cottage uh, project. But here's the thing, on my country cottage project, each time, because there's nine uh, individual patterns that I'm putting all together in one and I'm counting each one when I get it done as a finish because I'm the boss of me so each time I get one done I'm counting it as a finish now I swear he was my the landscaper here was mowing yesterday and it looks like he's mowing again 
Yeah. Maybe the rain. So this is how far I got on the very first block that I'm starting on. And I'm having a little bit of difficulty with this because I realize this particular block has a lot of white floss in it. And those trees that I'm working on are all white floss. So I feel like I am drowning in white floss around here. And then the other problem, so this is how crazy my brain is. The other problem is my needle minder. It's not appropriate for this project, no. And I, I so I need to order new needle minders that have something to do with the snow and Christmas or, you know, I didn't anticipate how disturbed I would be by um, seeing that pumpkin needle minder there. Yeah, yeah, I have to, Magnolia baby, I'm coming at you. So, yeah, it's the little things, isn't it? It's just the little things. I didn't touch the trees at all. Last night, I got the leaf started on that little house project. And here's the thing. I, I'm not too keen on this little um, Q-snap, this little small Q-snap, because although I think it saves fabric, you're not wasting a lot of fabric. Um, I think that um, it's kind of tight, like on the back, it's kind of tight to get your needle uh, threaded, you know, when you're at the end of um, your row and you need to cut off the thread. It, it, it's like, it's too tight. It's like having a bra that's a cup too small. This is a cup too small bra for this project, so I I think um, I think this small one is not not gonna be one that I'll want to use very often. Um, so that's all I did. I didn't touch the trees. Um, Mary and the librarian and I are starting the um, Raven Sal the. Um, you know, luminous fiber arts. Um, so I'll be hashtagging that and I'll put the hashtag in the description below for anybody who wants to start this. I'm going to start it this weekend. Yes. And I have the appropriate fabric and it's all kitted. And it'll be a good project for me to do up in Portland. So, because the lighting is so good there. Uh, but all of these terms, frogging, who would have thought there'd be frog? You know, and, and there's some terms, um, <laughs> McBap, that sounds like a uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, Scottish guy. You know, the guy that lives down the road named McBap. Massively complicated, big ass project. Wow. There's a whole lot of terms there. I have appreciated all of the suggestions about how each person um, organizes their floss. And let me tell you, there it, it's just kind of like quilting. There are a thousand ways to organize one's stash and tools and it's the same with cross stitchers and um, I've been somewhat confused not an unusual situation for me but I think I might be getting closer to figuring out how I want to do it um, the problem I'm having right now is actually being in one spot long enough to actually implement my plan. So, um, and I've been on a, a big um, push to try to get um, 
someone locally to start carrying some cross stitch. Just a, just a little bit, just to feel like I'm not out in the woods here. So I wanted to show you uh, what happened uh, when you're so involved with the wedding. And the wedding was spectacular. I mean, it was just such a fun wedding. It was a small wedding, but literally it was a fun wedding because we ran out on the golf course with the, the arbor that my son had built. We all ran out there and then the the wedding was being performed on the green of the golf course in between the golfers and then um, the skies thundered and lightning right above us and there's this fabulous picture of my son and daughter-in-law looking up in surprise and glory and then the rain started falling and the ceremony was brisk it was awesome so, um, it was a good weekend, although we're still recovering from it. And obviously, um, the way I dealt with my stress was I shopped on my phone. Yeah, my cell phones are awful. But, so I thought I'd show you what came in the mail. And one of these I haven't even opened. I mean, um, oh, you gotta see these. Okay, so... Erica House, I ordered some project bags from um, off of her Etsy shop. There's the card, and I'll put up, I'll, I'll be sure to put all the links. You know, it's uh, Star Hollow Stitchery on Etsy, and I just wanted these two project bags because they were just too cute. This one is, uh, you know, Wizard of Oz. I'm a big Wizard of Oz fan, and I just saw, I just um, went and saw Wicked with a friend, so, and then the inside has the black and white uh, Wizard of Oz fabric, and if you ever get the chance to see Wicked, you must. It is really, really good. Yeah, my daughter-in-law, and I, in fact, uh, I had seen it once already with a girlfriend, and then this last time, my daughter-in-law and I went and saw it. My younger son's wife. Oh, so now I have my my polygamy is getting out of control because there's another whip gonna go in here. Huh. And then this one, I had to get it. I had to get it because you know we're stitch roadies. And look it, it's little campers. Oh, I just love it. So. Bless me, Father, for I have purchased way more than I need to. Ten Hail Marys and one Our Father. Is that what they usually give you? Well, I don't know. A cross-stitcher might get more than that. So that happened. Okay, so I got that. And then um, I was really excited. You know, some of this stuff, you know, you forget what you ordered. You do. You forget. Remember that fugue state I was talking about? Well, this is hysterical. Uh, this was just hysterical. It's by Heinz Ziet. Is that, is that how you say that? Um, yeah, I think so. But... <laughs> boobies. Boobies. I might have to do this Halloween one. I wasn't going to do another Halloween project because my brain has, I mean, the snow has flown. It's out there, up on the mountain. And I, I'm already in the mood to get into winter projects, but boobies. <laughs> so I think I'm going to take this with me to Acorns and Threads. And, and, um, well, maybe I, maybe I have all these threads. See, I need to be organized. I'm, I'm ready to go buy fabric and threads and, and look at, oh, and it came with little buttons. That was hysterical. Yeah, this was hysterical. Yeah, I'm going to 
take a couple of the patterns with me to go kit them up. And let's see what's in this one. Mm. Don't they know that we cannot have things sealed so tightly because we can't wait? It says, for whoever mailed this, press firmly. It doesn't say for who's going to open it, what to happen. I know, don't look at me using these little cute little scissors to get this thing opened. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Yeah. I am... I am very much enjoying this community. You know, it's um there's a real kindness. I told I told um I told a bunch of quilters that I was talking to today. I said, you know the difference between <laughs> quilters and cross stitchers is the cross stitchers are unionized. <laughs> They all are on floss tube. Us quilters have YouTube channels that aren't connected in any way. And and here the um, the cross stitchers are, you know, shouting each other out and oh, oh, okay, it was worth it. It was worth all that struggle because it's in this cute little package. Sassy Jack's stitchery. I vaguely remember doing this. Maybe it was after the wedding toast. <laughs> I vaguely uh, what is this? It feels a little bit bumpy. Not like a total pack. Isn't this exciting? You get to watch me open something? Sassy Jack's Stitchery. Oh, look at they send you a needle and a stitchery label for the back of your stitchery with all the information. That's really clever. And a needle and a, and a card. Oh my gosh. And then... Beth Twist. She's an Oregon girl. And I decided to kind of get a jump on the whole um, holiday thing. And I ordered this. Yes. V is for Valentine. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. And then, ay, 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 also in that package. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to be ready for 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. I almost don't want to unwrap it, but. I want you to see it. This is because of one of you. You know, I, I'm still having this problem where people are suggesting things to me. This is Prim B Linen by The Primitive Hair. And I so love The Primitive Hair. I, I like their patterns, but I, I bought this. I don't even know what's going to go on it. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Maybe I can put it on the back of this so that you can see it. Okay. This is a linen. Can you see that? It needs ironing or it needs flatter. But it's got a printed beehive and, and uh, honeycomb. And then your, like, your motif would be in the center. That is 
That is stunning. I wonder how they do that. See, that in itself is uh, artistic. You know, that in itself is artistic. Uh, and then I know that um, this month is, you know, these are all things that I'm learning. This may be boring to you because you already know all this, and I'm just repeating what I've been hearing, but um, September is sam sample, sample September. So samples, not samples, samplers. <laughs> I need that class. Samplers. What constitute exactly a sampler? See, that's what I want to know. This thing that I'm putting all nine of the little houses on there, is this not a sampler? I'm not sure. So that's kind of what I... But I know a lot of uh, people are participating in, in this... Um, Sampler September, which sounds fun, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. So I'm just kind of quietly stitching away and hoping that uh, something I'm doing is a, a sampler. And then I read that um, the tradition, maybe it's a tradition, is you start a birthday start. And that really appealed to me, you know. Uh, those of you that have been hanging around with me for a while on quilt roadies know that I celebrate my birthday all month. I am a party girl and so October is slowly coming and us October girls are well balanced and I celebrate for a month. So I I love the idea of having a birthday start. And I was trying to figure out what kind of birthday start, what pattern. It should be, it shouldn't be something I already own. It should be something special. Yeah, something special. So I kind of searched around as everybody was suggesting different sites. Thank you so much for sharing the wealth and the addiction. Um, and I found one that I wanted to do. Um, both G and I grew up on the ocean. And my family in particular, um, you know, my mother was Korean. It's a, it, it's surrounded on three sides, all, all around the peninsula. It's a peninsula. And, um, as a young child, we fished a lot. Um, my dad would take take me down to the beach and he would um, I'd go to sleep in a sleeping bag in the sand dunes down in Monterey County and then he would fish off of Moss Landing and when I was little he told me someday I'm gonna own a sailboat and he did and so our family did a lot of sailing and um, my mom was, um, when she passed away, she was actually a commodore of a yacht club. Oh, yeah. So the whole ocean theme thing is big for me. And I saw this pattern, and I thought, I so want to make that. And so I think since I am heading to Acorns and Threads, that I'm going to start kitting it up so that it'll be ready to start in October. And I've never done anything quite this big, I don't think. I, I think my Paris one was not quite this big, and, and but I love it. It took me a little bit to find the pattern. I just love it. It has all those great ocean themes, the big clipper ships, the whales. I mean, it, the lighthouse. And I am going to change um, the script in one of these blocks that say in memory of, and it has some guy's name. 
and um, I'm going to change that to include my parents. So I am definitely ready for my birthday start. I just have to get it all together. And since most of my thread, I'm already starting to worry a bit because when we head down to Arizona, um, you know, I leave behind my quilt room and I leave behind everything, my crafting life. And so I get, um, for those of you that have been with me on quilt roadies, you know what I go through when I'm ready to hit the road. We hit the road, we share quilt shops, quilt shows, and now cross stitch shops. And, and um, but I have to have things together so I always have something to do because I start to panic if I run out. And I want to finish what I have ongoing rather than pick up an entirely new project. So I pre-prep everything. So a, a part of this fall will be thinking about what projects I want to um, have kitted and take along with me. Yes, I always want more than running out of something. What this also, one last thing I wanted to share with you, what also has happened is that I am hitting the craft stores because one of the things that I like about the cross stitch um, that everyone's doing, and I have uh, like several tabs open from floss tubers, is um, how they finish things. And Vana is, yeah, she's a queen. But I've been hitting the craft stores because um, there's things that, especially right now, a lot of stuff is 40 or 50% off. And um, I just use it as a backdrop for my cross stitch. So I bought these things. I thought I'd show you what I bought. So this thing was like, what was this thing? It was like, it probably cost me two or three dollars. And it's just a little wooden thing with a little hanger. And the thing is, is that I think when I get done with um, my peppermint Christmas thing, wherever that is, how crazy is this? Oh, <laughs> it's right in front of me. <laughs> See? I think that I will be able to fit that and attach it to the front of this, you know, and um, it'll be a cute finish. So those are kind of fun to start looking for things on how to finish. And I already did one of these for um, the 4th of July, and so I bought a Thanksgiving one, and my uh, stitchery will fit right over the top of the writing, and I already have this nice easel that's kind of been distressed around the edge. So I got that, and then I thought this was cute. It's a little easel and a burlap. Yeah, it's like maybe six by six or eight by eight. So that's gonna be a good. And then I didn't know if this would work for my um, Nevermore, my Raven, but I bought this little pumpkin, and you know it was forty percent off. So. It was probably five or six dollars. And then I saw Bonna do something interesting with the little pie tin. She made like a pin cushion. And um, she cross stitched something in a circle and then um, fit it down and uh, stuffed it and then attached it, glued it inside of a little pie tin. Well, I found on sale this little. Um, candle holder and I thought I could I could have a round stitchery that I could attach and put inside there and that'd be really cute so there's the other thing that's happening in my life is I'm I'm buying stuff to showcase my <laughs> cross stitch <gasps> it's I'm starting to sweat but I'm having a good time too and I sure, surely am enjoying all the company. Um, the floss tubes that I have been watching the last couple days 
are um, just to share with you. I'm like all over the board. Everybody's suggesting things to me or I'm reading comments from someone who is a floss tuber and I'm going, oh, I have to watch them. And so now my husband, he's complaining because we, it, we don't watch television. We hook his computer up, as I told you before, to the TV and we watch Netflix or YouTube on the television. And now he has to wade through my subscription list to find the shows, the shows that we watch. But um, Jennifer Bluegrass Stitchers is, uh, I've been watching her. I have the computer right here. That's why I'm looking over here, not so you don't think oh, I'm just ignoring you. Uh, but Jennifer Bluegrass Stitchers, she's so sweet. And, and she says she's a friend of, um, of Stephanie's, who is one of the Acorns and Thread Girls. And uh, then um, Stitching with the Sisterlies, I just, oh, wouldn't you just love to have a sister that just stitched with you? Oh, I can't convince my sister to stitch, but she loves my stitching. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for all of your help, all of your help. Uh, thank you for your suggestions on where to shop. Yes, I am thanking you because I am enjoying it. And my list is getting bigger. And I hope maybe tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Oh, you might not see this by the time I get to Acorns and Threads, but my class is on Sunday of this week. So it'll be fun. See you later.